Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite invert here. And today we're going to be talking about using ActiveTrack and how you can use ActiveTrack to keep your subject in focus better uh, without using manual controls. I found this uh, to be pretty handy when you're doing uh, real estate and uh, aerial photography. So we're going to get the Phantom 4 Pro V2 fired up and in the air. And we'll go over some of the benefits of using ActiveTrack. So let's get into it. the Phantom 4 into position here we're gonna back it up and we're doing the back of the house just because uh, we have what we call a little green space here so there's no actual homes that we'll be flying over while doing this presentation let me actually go into my screen and uh, let's bring up our screen recording that way you can see what I'm seeing as I'm walking through uh, this tutorial here so I am active tracking myself using the Mavic Air, and I'm also using the DJI Phantom 4, which we have in the air right now. So here we have Active Track selected. I have Spotlight that I'm going to use. Um, we'll use Spotlight for this presentation. We'll select OK, and here we go. We're gonna select the house, which we're gonna use as our subject to focus on, and we're gonna tap to go. Now that we are focused, the benefit of having active track in selecting your house is that it's always going to be in focus or at least the uh, camera software is going to know what the target is so as you move around and you go about doing an orbit or if you go into like a pan in pan zoom or if you're trying to make that smooth transition to fly over and above your home it'll always keep it nice smooth and in frame you want to just remember to keep in mind that you want to maintain as much contrast between your subject and your background as possible. Uh, this will help the software figure out what indeed you're actually trying to focus. So basically I can fly this maneuver one handed and just maneuvering the DJI Phantom around my target. You want to keep a wide angle as possible. Uh, you want to get your entire shot into frame or the entire yard if you will, and using Active Track and using these features, it allows you or it affords you the opportunity to go as wide as possible, and it gives you some additional uh, flight options as well. And again, you can uh, customize the controls of your DJI drone to make everything as smooth as possible as you transition. So, a lot of this can be done using just your thumbs on the control sticks, not having to worry about spinning the the dial to operate the gimbal. You just let the active track do it for you. And if you use slow, smooth movements on the sticks, then the majority of the time your footage will come out looking smooth and crisp. That way it just expedites your whole entire workflow as you're not having to deal with your jerky movements and trying to pick the cleanest in and out points of your clips. You just go ahead, throw it in together. Uh, you, you know, you have a predetermined shot list or at least I do, that you want to get in where you're going from right to left in front of the house or left to right. And then you know you do your zoom ins and your zooms outs of the property, uh, making sure that you get the full idea of what you're trying to shoot. But this just makes sure that your camera gimbal movements are nice and smooth. That way, sometimes you're focused too much on you know flying the drone, which you should be anyway, uh, to where you kind of lose track of your gimbal abilities. Or if you're hyper-focused on your video quality, and you're not really paying attention to where your drone is at, that could lead into some very unfortunate tragedies like flying into a tree, which I'm not gonna say who did that, but uh, I may be speaking from experience. So don't get hyper-focused. Uh, let, the, let the technology do the work for you. Uh, expedite your workflow, make clean, consistent videos, and overall, just keep your uh, customers in mind, making sure that they get the best product possible. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I really appreciate your support. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'll see you next time.